Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your March 2022 Mid-Month General Reading. We are looking at the last two weeks of March and this reading is for the air sign of Aquarius. Welcome everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Uh, thanks for taking the time to be here and as always a note of gratitude for uh, your likes, shares, subscribes, donations, feedback, comments, those of you who reach out for personal readings. Always welcome and always greatly appreciated. Thank you. So Aquarius, this reading is for you for the last two weeks of March 2022. That's if your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign is in Aquarius. It's also relevant if you're cross-watching for an Aquarian. Uh, it's going to resonate a little differently for everyone, of course. It is a general reading, so if you know all of your signs, sun, moon, rising, and Venus, watch them because each one can bring in a little additional insight and perspective into what's going on in your life. And if you find that something does resonate with you, you'd like to reach out for a personal reading, perhaps take a deeper look at something, uh, feel free to email me directly at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. I'd be delighted to hear from you. Uh, I can usually respond within the same day with more information. I do offer a wide variety of readings. So if you're interested, message me. You can also get that same uh, contact info by clicking the little arrow, uh, the description link attached to this video. Okay, Aquarius, let's see what the last two weeks of March look like for you. I am using the Tarot of Dreams and clarifying with the legacy of the Divine Tarot. Okay, Aquarius, we begin by waiting a little bit. The Hanging Man. It may feel like you're in stasis or limbo, but things are still playing out. This is a card of not taking action. Uh, not making any decisive uh, decisions, choices, action. Um, you're gaining information. It might be an uncomfortable place to be in, but it's fairly short-lived. It's a transitional energy card. So it represents uh, watching something playing out, waiting to see how something playing, plays out. And even though you might want to, it's, it's about not moving forward, not taking any direct action just quite yet. With the hanging man comes the high priestess, uh, intuition, connection to the divine, as I like to call it. Some people call it higher self. Some people call it gut instinct. You know, it's intuition. It's that connection to the divine uh, through which we get, you know, uh, compelled to do this thing, that thing, inspirations, um, even if external advice or a situation might uh, prompt you to do something this way. The high priestess represents your intuition saying, no, I really feel this, right? So uh, fundamentally, the hanging man with the high priestess is knowing that the right thing to do right now is to not act because things are still playing out, which requires a bit of patience, which can be challenging. Next, we have the chariot success at the end of a pretty difficult, challenging path. Uh, the chariot represents winning simply because you don't give up you refuse to give up determination perseverance willpower staying focused on whatever your goal is even if it's just to endure um, you know the chariot represents that you might try and fail a few times or it might be a quite a struggle but success comes at the end if you don't give up with the chariot we have the five of coins insufficiency and lack uh, coins is governed by the element of earth which usually governs the practical areas of life money finance property real estate assets uh, long-term security and stability even if that's in relationships as well financially materially this can represent being out of work out of money um, worrying about that um, needing to ask for help feeling shut out uh, yeah, it's a, it looks like a difficult time, um, particularly financially and materially. There may be some challenges going on. I know, <laughs> I know there's a lot of financial challenges going on with all of us today. So this could be just kind of a general read um, for that Aquarius. Um, but sometimes when we're in the midst of financial and material difficulty, uh, it can make us sometimes start to panic or want to... Uh, you know, do this thing or that thing or change this or change that or sell this or, you know, and it's not to say that you wouldn't have to do that and always free will free agency. But right now it feels like even though it may be a bit challenging right now, we may have to tighten our belts a bit right now. It's not the right time and your intuition is probably backing this up. It's not the right time to make any uh, drastic changes or spontaneous choices right now. 
Next, we have the Nine of Wands being close to the end of a difficult cycle, our Wounded Warrior card. Uh, not so much in the artwork in this deck, but in other decks, the, the Nine of Wands can represent uh, a soldier that's standing up, holding on to a staff. He's wounded. He's got a bandage around his head. You know, it's, it's a question of having been through. It's a situation of having been through um, quite a lot already. And here comes yet one more thing, right? And you're like, oh my gosh, should I give up? How do I get through this? Do I even need to get through this? How can I get through this? Often the energy that accompanies the Nine of Wands is the, again, persevere, and it's right next to the, char the chariot. Ten to represent cycle endings and completion. So the Nine of Wands represents um, that you're, you're close to the end of, of a, a difficult time right now. With the Nine of Wands, we have the Empress. Yes, this is a card of fertility, of abundance, of the fruits of the harvest being reaped. Uh, new beginnings. So... <laughs> This is actually, uh, you know, one of the uh, tricky readings, whether it's in a general reading or, or when I'm working with a client with a personal reading, is to be able to see and feel quite clearly the challenges that you're going through or that we're going through um, and going, I know, but don't, don't do anything spontaneous or hasty right now. It's just, we just kind of have to hunker down and get through this. It's almost over. It's, it's not too much longer because that's basically what this looks like. From the bottom of the deck, the overall energy and focus for the last half of March is healing the Six of Swords, moving slowly but surely away from the source of the challenge, the struggle. Uh, like the Hanging Man, it is transitional, meaning that you've left the worst behind you and you're moving to, towards a better place, more peaceful waters. You're not quite to the other shore and on solid ground yet, but you're moving towards that. Okay. Let's clarify. I mean, I could just leave the reading there, right? But let's clarify a little bit. It feels like financial and material for most of you. Um, and I, I've seen a shift on that in the last couple of days with uh, the mid-month general readings I've been doing. And it could be also related to world events right now as well. Um, you know, with more of a focus on the financial, material, physical, concrete side of things. Let's clarify the Six of Swords. For others of you, it might not be financial and material, though I think for many of you it is. Um, but for others of you, it could be, you know, perhaps feeling shut out of something. Feeling like you don't have the same things as everybody else does to do the same things. You know, kind of like the underdog. Six of Swords. The Ten of Cups, the Happy Home card, White Picket Fence, where everything comes together in peace and harmony and unity for home and family. The Nine of Coins, financial and material, self-sufficiency, self-empowerment, self-confidence, uh, working hard to get to a place where you can enjoy the fruits of your labor, particularly financially and materially. Um, yeah, so you're healing. Uh, but there's still a little bit left to be gotten through yet. It may be that you're recovering from some kind of financial blow of some kind, employment or work or property, something of that sort. You are healing. You're not quite there yet. Now is not the time to make any radical changes or decisions. But but you're in process. Let's clarify. Whoops. Let's clarify the hanging man. chariot again success at the end of a difficult path the moon indecision uncertainty uh, and, and that's sometimes the challenge of the hanging man energy of waiting of knowing instinctively which you do hear many of you with the high priestess instinctively that that not making any rash decisions or actions or changes right now is what's required it's just kind of a hunker down period even though during that time period it can be difficult to remain patient because the challenge of the hanging man is okay how's this going to play out hidden fear is kind of bubbling up to the surface you know imagining the worst kind of stuff let's clarify the high priestess Eight of coins, work, finance, property, projects, career, 
uh, three of swords, emotional pain, difficulty, disappointment, six of wands, victory, and triumph. So this is all clarifying, knowing that now is not the right time to make any sudden decisions or take action right now um, because that's your key to victory even though this time period may be challenging or even painful for some it's a general reading so the intensity of course will vary uh, but now it, it's just again i get that sort of hunker down you know we're close to the end of this pretty challenging time particularly financially and materially which means that for those of you who still feel like you're in the midst of it and there's no end in sight there is and it's it's not too far away it's just not right now clarify the chariot <laughs> the queen of swords you aquarius gemini libra uh with the chariot this is determination you being absolutely determined that you're going to get through this you're going to win no matter what clarify the five of coins no matter how difficult it is the five of wands conflict internal conflict external conflict with other people the four of coins the miser card tightening your belt being smart economical frugal uh, saving as much as you can holding on to as much as you can not not making any spending decisions based on spontaneous or impulsive uh, emotions the wheel of fortune divine timing and orchestration this is kind of like look this is what i have to do or look this is what we have to do i know you don't like it i don't like it either but but we have no other choice this is what we have to do we have to kind of pare down tighten our belt rebudget all of that kind of stuff it won't last long clarify the nine of wands our wounded warrior card nine of wands and the empress i mean this is just i've got just a little bit left to get through before we get back to a time of abundance or a time of stability the page of cups little messages of love support encouragement the king of swords so we have the king and queen of swords here a couple it might be your partner or best friend or somebody else who's in a positive position of saying we're going to get through this you're going to get through this we're going to get through this together clarify the empress might be somebody offering help the knight of cups an offer or opportunity driven by love support encouragement three of coins teamwork collaboration uh, compromise negotiation working to get everybody on the same page the six of cups uh, a, a sign of historical connection the six of cups is a card associated with things we have a history with people places situations we have a history with this looks like someone specifically whether it's your partner best friend or somebody else this king of swords in a position that they're saying here you know you're going to be all right we're going to be all right let me help this is like kind of working together to make this a little easier and working together um, to get through the last little difficult bit of something um, so that we can have what we had before or have a sense of you know have this abundance and fertility and 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 all of that really it, it looks for for many of you like for many of us really like going through a difficult financial material time here are just going through some kind of a difficult time but there's definitely help to kind of shoulder the burden here for just a little bit longer so let's end with some advice and guidance for you Aquarius the six of coins gift giving gift receiving accept the help or if you're in the one in the position to offer it offer it accept the help the hanging man again this is a, a a message from spirit reiterating that now is not the time to make any drastic changes or decisions right now the world the last major arcana card in the tarot a major ending completion graduation and moving up and onwards to a new landscape full of different options and opportunities so just just hang tight <laughs> again this is one of those readings that is difficult to give whether it's general or or personal or you know even when you're talking with friends it's like yes i know you're going through a difficult time we're going through a difficult time we're we're close to being at the end of it we just have to get through this last little bit of it and in the meantime you know don't let your fears and doubts and insecurities push you into making decisions or changes that you might later regret right it's just about kind of tightening up a little bit and being patient for just a little bit longer 
Okay, Aquarius, those are your messages for the last two weeks of March. I hope uh, that they were useful and helpful to you. Again, if any of this resonates with you enough that you'd like to perhaps take a deeper look at something, reach out for a personal reading, get some guidance on something for yourself or as a gift for someone else, uh, feel free to email me directly at Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. I'd be happy to hear from you and to work with you. You can also get that contact info by clicking on the description link attached to this video. I will see you all in a couple of weeks for the April general readings. Uh, take care. Hope to see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.